How do we find the differential equations of motion for the simple spring mass system using the Euler-Lagrange equation? Our first step is to find the Lagrangian of the system, which consists of the kinetic energy of the system subtracting the potential energy of the system. Let's first try finding the kinetic energy of our system. Our kinetic energy only consists of this mass translating back and forth in the x direction. So we say the kinetic energy is going to be 1 half mv squared. We're going to say our generalized coordinate for our Lagrange equation is going to be x. So we're going to convert this v into 1 half mx dot squared, as the first derivative of x is going to be the velocity. Next, we want to find the potential energy of our system. And our potential energy is only going to be consisting of the spring um, deforming either in one direction or the other direction, which stores potential energy. And the equation for a spring's potential energy is 1 half k x squared as x is just the distance it's displaced from its neutral point. Next, once we know the Lagrangian, which is just kinetic energy minus potential energy, we can write that down. So the Lagrangian is 1 half m x dot squared minus 1 half k x squared. We can now find the partial derivatives of the Lagrangian with respect to x dot and x, and then find the time derivative of this first term. So let's do this inside term of the parentheses. So partial Lagrangian with the respect to x dot is going to be just m times x dot. As the first term is the one you can derive, the second term goes to zero, as there is no x dot in that term. We can then find the time derivative of this whole term. And all we have to do is add a second dot above the x as this time derivative of mx dot is just mx double dot. Next, we can find the second term of, of our Euler-Lagrange equation, the partial of the Lagrangian with respect to just x is minus kx squared. Oh, no squared, sorry. As the first term has an, no x term, and the second term has the x term, which we can derive. Now that we have these two parts of the Euler-Lagrange equation, we'll put them together and that gives us our differential equation. So our differential equation of motion is just going to be mx double dot plus kx equals zero. And this is our differential equation of motion for our spring mass system.